What's up guys, Bubblaze here, and I'm back with an update on the Guild Pair. Um, I believe it's been one or two days since I've uploaded um, the update um, channel video uh, describing what I'm going to do with my channel. Um, and I said it was going to be restoring the Guild Pair, and since then I have got a list of parts that I want to buy in the future and right here um, first of all tires um, these tires I'm looking I was looking around for some street tires um, I just found a bunch of um, slicks I um, couldn't find much of this um, one of the really I don't know good looking ones I guess um, that didn't have the the thread or the tread um, high um, because I'm not trying to do off road. I'm just trying to like cruise around um, and they maybe do a little bit of jerking. So to me, these are good looking and to me they look like they're gonna work for the purpose. Um, but the only problem is that they're pretty expensive to be honest. Um, Sixty five. 65 bucks just for one. I don't even know if it comes with the rim. Um, but yeah, I think they're totaled around like 200 bucks just to get all four tires. I don't know, even then, uh, it doesn't even say if they're front or back tires. Um, but yeah, um, next thing. I am want. I really want to um, upgrade the V valves, uh, just for the sole purpose of it. Um, I looked. I actually seen the V valves because um, I pulled up the carburetor already, and they're just plastic. They're just to me. They just look shit. I don't know if they're broken or like damaged in any way um, because I haven't like pulled up the top end yet. Um, when I pull up the top end, I will look at the leads, the V valve and see if the damage or not and then I'll see what I, I will be doing um, and then I need it I need a new spark plug because if you guys see my other video um, the spark plug was just burnt out it was just useless not even good anymore um, I don't know if I'm gonna buy this one exactly but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna go down to my local um, quad shop well not even I think they're a quad shop. Um, they just deal with all sorts of stuff in it, but they've got spark plugs, they got filters, they actually have go kart rims um, and tires. But I'm not, I'm not sure about tires, but I know they got rims. Um, but yeah, I'll just go to them and ask them if they got a, a spark plug that works for mine, um, for my engine um, on the go kart. Um, and then we got the brake pads. Um, I found the, the cal caliber for the. For the um, for the uh, the brake um, the caliber on the go kart is the one the stock caliber on the dirt bike, so they just moved it over. Um, whoever before my friend got it, um, um, they just put that on. Um, so I will be replacing the brake pads. Um, not sure yet if I'm gonna replace the disc, the brake disc. Um, Pretty sure I'm just gonna wash it up and um, um, unrust it. Um, but for the main thing, <sighs> the top end rebuild kit. Um, this is my main thing I need to buy for sure. Um, before I buy anything else, is the top end uh, from Wisco. Um, it's a good price too, 105 bucks for a top end. Or stock four. Um, um, I, I I want the the top end um, the complete version because uh, I'm pretty sure on the engine now it's, it's from 2004. Um, it's from wear and tear. The these things on the engine that were between the parts. Um, um, are torn up, and when I pull off the top end, it's gonna be a mess.
ass if I ever try to put him back on. So might as well just find a completed, um, complete popping Ringo kit from Wisco, and so I can just pull them off, throw them in the trash. If they're still good, I'll probably, probably still, I'll probably keep them for something later on. Um, yeah. Um, and then pedals. I want to get new pedals. Um, these pedals are um, no, I just. When I put my foot on it, it doesn't feel nice. It doesn't not nice, but it doesn't just feel really flimsy. Like um, the pedals feel like they're they're gonna bend and bend and and break basically. So I want to get these uh, these pedals. Um, I am going to um, readjust the shifter or the clutch actually the clutch uh, on the go kart. Um, you guys didn't see. I don't know if I showed it in the other video, but it's uh, on the clutch uh, where I, where I shift. The clutch handle is on the shifter I have on the go kart. Um, and I'm wanting to get like a, a lever that I put behind the wheel, so I just um, hold it and start it up. You know, um, and I found out that the engine is. Sequential, um, a six-speed sequential um, gearbox. Um, so that's good. So I really don't have to bother with shifting while I'm riding, which is good. And sprockets. Other video, I said I want to change the sprocket size. I said that the smallest sprocket can make it faster. That's true, but I forgot to count in torque um, and wheel size so right now I am riding on um, on the drive the drive sprocket or front sprocket I'm riding 13 13 by 37 37 which puts me at the engine um, 2.85 um, so basically um, I need 2.85 rotations of this dry sprocket to rotate um, the 37 to back sprocket um, for one full complete spin. Um, so, and right as of right now, I'm I'm actually getting a lot of torque in the in the in the in the, in the back wheels um, from my RPMs so um, I was thinking of just dropping um, dropping the back sprocket down um, maybe to 25 or to 30 I'm not sure yet um, I still have to get the, the wheel um, size so I can calculate that with the, the sprockets um, because um, 13 by 37 is meant for um, the, the dirt bike, the actual dirt bike wheels. Um, I believe are 12 inch rims. I'm not sure on that. I think believe they're 12 inch rims. Um, stock, I believe. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, and so, um, since this is, um, I guess, stock. I'm not sure if it's stock, but. I guess it's meant for that setup, but we're for our means and for what we're doing, uh, we're we put the engine on the go kart, so it needs to work with the go kart wheels instead of an actual dirt bike wheel. So I have to readjust that um, and have a surprise for you guys. So I've been thinking about a new thing I want to do, uh, a new project. Um, that I want to do later on. Um, I don't think it's going to be my next project, but it's going to be one of those projects later on. Um, so I've been playing GTA 5 lately, and I got a I got a mod, um, um, a Baja buggy mod, and it the thing is so fun to ride in in GTA. And the suspension is so soft on it, and it's great. And I'm having time. 
I was thinking about the um, go kart and rebuilding the go kart and fixing the go kart. Um, and then also, like five minutes after I, I stopped playing GTA Five, I watched the new um, Ken Block video of the Hundred Point Two, and I uh, I watched one of the old uh, Hundred Point videos, and it basically was like uh, describing what parts are in the Hundred Point. And I looked and it showed a suspension and I was like, oh, the suspension setup is cool. It had a double wishbone inborn, inboard suspension, which was really cool, you know. Um, so I was thinking I got all those three things mashed all together. I was like, dude, why don't, why don't I just remodel the design of it? Just this thing I'm going to do. And here it is. I don't know about this front length, but yeah, um, the front suspension is crazy wicked. Um, so basically, the suspension right here um, with dampeners. I'm gonna. I think, I think that's what they call dampeners. Um, with a little bottle right here, I'm gonna get one of those. It's like a suspension, suspension um, rod like this. It's gonna work. It, it would work, but it, it wouldn't be good. Um, basically, uh, this plate. Um, Mounting plate. I don't know if it's called. I don't know. I wouldn't really, really know what to call it. But this thing, it's supposed to be a triangle shape. Um, uh, just because I can get more rotation on this, because basically this this plate is mounted to the frame through here, and when this is, when the wheel goes up, the suspension basically does this. Not attached to this, but um, it goes up and this goes down, and then. Um, uses the suspension. Um, I'm not sure on these forks or wishbones because they're supposed to be um, equal to each other. So I don't know if that will work. Hopefully, hopefully they'll work, but I don't know. Um, look at the back, the back engine, dude. The engine, I want the engine to be a 700 Raptor engine. Because I, I saw these videos of these guys building their own little custom buggies for a Bahaba even. And they have like um, street street bike engines, um, cars. There's this guy had an R1, an R1 engine um, in his, um, his Baja buggy, which was crazy. Um, I was thinking maybe why don't why don't I just put a seven hundred Raptor engine? You know, you never know. I might I might change that idea, but for right now I'm thinking seven hundred Raptor engine just because why not? It'll save me space because I really don't want this thing to be big at all. I just want it to be like um, maybe a little bit bigger than my go kart, and that's about it. I don't want to be big, like, but huge. Um, but yeah, um, basically the engine sits here. Um, the the radiator. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put the radiator up here, somewhere over here, of course. Um, and basically the chain loops around this little box. Um, so right there, and it just twists, um, turns this um, this thing, and then power. To, um, it's been converted to these um to these things. I forgot the name, sorry. Um and it just pushes the the buggy forwards. Um the suspension is also the same in the back. Um I might as well just keep it the same. But yeah, the thing is um I'm not sure on these these top forks or a arms or, or whatever you want to call them, wish bones. Um, I'm not sure on those exactly, but yeah, this is something I really want to do in the future, and hopefully I will do it. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to stay tuned on the, stay tuned and stay updated on the. 
the go kart build or restoration build um subscribe like this video and hopefully you guys will see this later on in my channel see you guys peace out